Ventana. I don't know which one even it is. Dark night. Welcome to the ASMR session. on YouTube, do this stuff, and I thought, hey, maybe one day I could try this stuff, see what might happen, but, honestly, I don't know how well this is going to go, but, hey, might as well give it a go and see where it leads us, but, what I wanted today's show to be was, to be a simple affirmations video, is to all positivity because I myself get a lot of it but whether I take it in and actually believe it for myself it's a different story <laughs> I'm quite guilty for that as I would assume uh, lots of people are guilty for it so I just just thought to myself obviously that it would matter a lot to me to do this and maybe it could help some people down the line who might be struggling so hopefully this video will help affirm you, put you to sleep, and overall not make you believe it, but just make you question yourself a bit. This is what this is about. And yeah, and let's get started. Ask for some um, suggestions from people, and just to see what they would say what they would like to hear in an affirmations video and I've had quite a few nice little suggestions actually and I'll, I might give some of them out on here I won't say any names but they have you know given me some inspiration actually and that's what the whole point of asking was just to see what people would actually say and yeah it's quite insightful some of them so yeah I might give some of them out randomly here and there but you won't really know unless you are watching it and if you are someone that's suggested it so here we go i think the first proper one that i always hear and it's quite a cliche one is it's okay to not be okay seriously i should take this in more often i am incredibly guilty for feeling bad or being bad as silly as it sounds so I'm always quite hard on myself and I'm often quite judgmental of my actions like as someone put it to me I am my own worst critic um, and I don't think I think that is very true <laughs> you could be any more accurate than that also I think another good one is just be happy in your own skin just own it you know love yourself so to speak I think I've done a lot of hating on myself as of late during this whole situation that we've been in for literally nearly a year the year is coming up since we got made to stay in our homes and it hasn't been an easy ride I mean check out this look how facial is it's kind of consumed me a bit but we've all had to endure a bit of hardships and not seeing our family and friends for a very long time and just do the things that we want to do to get that, free just to get that freedom but honestly it's gonna end soon we're on the way, we're on our way out now and we can't give up hope now we just have to keep riding it through no matter how hard it might be and well I might be bored stiffless in this house doing the same old routine over and over honestly you just gotta keep fighting that's another one just, just keep, keep fighting it no matter how hard 
it might be just keep fighting and that's just a general statement it could be for anything that you're fighting for whether it be just fighting to stay alive fighting so you don't self-harm maybe just fighting to get your work done whether it be um, education or literally doing work from home something like that you just got to keep riding through as, as easy as it, it sounds so easy when I say that I know I know it's I know it's so easy for me to say that without any gravity but this is something that I have had to learn and I am still learning as well uh, I have been through a lot of things things that a lot of people don't know a lot of things that people some people do know quite quite deeply in fact you know and I, in a way this is kind of why I'm doing this I just thought maybe it would be good for me as much as it would be good for other people to actually hear this and hear what I have to say I don't expect people to take it in and necessarily apply it to their lives but I think something I want is just for you to just listen and allow me the chance to just speak with you I just want that's what I want out of this mainly if you do believe it and you do apply it that's an added bonus in my opinion 100% it might you have to have the good times well no you have to have the bad times to have the good times sorry <laughs> get mixed up you know what I mean like so we have to have the negative experiences in order to get the more positive ones at the end of the path, at the end of the road. And that is so true. If no one had any negativity in their lives, have they had a life, you know? It isn't all plain sailing. It's not smooth at all. We get bumps along the way, you all slip down that mountain. It is a mountain trek we're all on at the moment. Some of us are worse than others. But honestly, we are all on that mountain trek, myself included, I am on a quite a steep mountain trail on my journey to get myself better and back to how I was before. I've still got such a long way to go. I know I don't look the best, I might not have the greatest outlook on life at the moment, but I'm doing everything that I've mentioned in this video so far. Or at least I am attempting to and I will continue to do because I don't want to say these things and it's not true on my, on my part because it would make me fake and I don't want to come across fake this is not what this is I think another brilliant one that I always hear is just don't do yourself down you know just hate just don't hate yourself you know you've got to be happy everyone deserves to be happy and I am very very guilty for doing this but I'm always guilty and I feel selfish for feeling happy for doing a certain task all the time Especially, you know, even now, like, it almost feels too good to be true. And I know that sounds very sad, hearing that. That is how I feel. And I'm sure that's how some of you feel. Whenever you hear a positive comment on your performance or you as a person, you're not likely to take it in or believe it as much as the person who's giving it out the people around you are gonna believe in you way more than you believe in yourself that's just a fact it's a fact with anyone you know and I <laughs> I always hate it when people say oh you care about yourself you, you do deep down and stuff you just don't want to admit it and things like that I generally don't believe that 
in my own mind, but when I think about it, I'm like, well, yeah, I probably do care about myself. So why am I feeling like this? Am I just really that bad that I'm just beating myself up this hard for no real reason? And I'm sure some of you must feel like this as well, perhaps in smaller doses or maybe the same, who knows, but I, I always wonder how many people out there really do feel like this. It's millions of people, I know, that's, common, that's a common fact, it's obvious, but I always feel like I'm the only one who feels like this. And it's a real um, pain that my brain wants me to believe. It just drill into me a lot that you are alone, you're in love, no one actually really cares. And yeah, I, like, I know that isn't true. And I just can't believe that I've actually thought that I believed that for so long. That's just crazy, right? Honestly, I I, I have thought this stuff for months. I'm sure many of you have had it way worse than me and had it for years even. So I, I almost don't feel like I have a right to complain about this stuff, but if it if it, you do find it relatable, great. I mean, having a voice out there saying what your thoughts are must be quite a relief. Honestly, just don't feel bad for it, because you know now if there is living proof here with me that you aren't the only one. And yeah, I think I think another good one is I'm gonna try and do some of these little triggers that I see on YouTube now. If I if I'm doing terrible, by the way, <laughs> don't criticize me too hardly. I'm trying my best, but I'm gonna do some little finger plugs. But what I wanted to say next was just believe in yourself. It sounds very simple when I put it like that. Now, belief comes in all different shapes and sizes, it really does. Whether it be just, I don't know, believing that you can do a small little task like getting up out of bed every morning. It could be quite a monumental task for some people. But for the average person, it's something that happens without a single second thought. You could be believing in yourself that you could get a bit of work done. Or, you know, you have a certain deadline to hit, are you going to hit that deadline? Do you believe you can hit that deadline? These are all things that we all have to ask ourselves at some point in our lives. Can I believe that I'm going to get this promotion at work and I'm going to do one over on Joe or something like that? It's just a random name I just come up with out of the blue. But you <laughs> know what I mean. It's... Honestly, belief comes within, from within, and I know I sound so philosophical when I say that, but it does. If people say things to you about you, they're not saying it for the sake of saying it, they're saying it because they themselves believe it, they believe in you. And if one person says that to you, then surely everyone else around you think the same thing as well and I'm also guilty for this I don't believe in myself and when people say these things I think they're on something or they have had a bit too much to drink as silly as it sounds but I know, I know they haven't they do really do think this stuff and I sometimes do choose to ignore it or I just and their brain drills into me and you know, I get in my own head and I say no, it's not true, they don't actually mean it, this is just something that's been said out of the blue, 
just to make you feel better because it's what you want to hear that's all it is that's how I think of it sometimes and I'm slowly learning that it's not the case and it's something I've got to get out of my head it really is and I'm sure these different scenarios that I have mentioned has probably happened to all of you, at least one of them, in this lockdown period. I mean, hell, I've been wearing these masks. I've got, I've got a mask here. And, uh, can you see this? <laughs> these masks are class. I love wearing them. They get them in the right position, especially if you've got glasses on. I'm sure some of you can relate to this 100%. If some of you are wearing glasses, then you've got um, these glasses. It steams up. It steams up even these, but if you get them in the right position, they are comfy, comfy. You don't get short breath like I do because I'm an asthmatic. And it, oh god, it's like our nemesis, honestly. But yeah, I, these are like bandit masks. They give me the western feel like I'm about to go and rob a joint. <laughs> it's quite silly. It is really silly. <laughs> Honestly, it's been such a wild ride I've got this inside. I've also got my little nanny yard as well. I've not been in the place in so long. I, w I really want to go back this year. End of March at least is what when I've got a shield. Even though I've been vaccinated already. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you can hear this. I'm not sure if I'm really doing a good job with these trees, but hey, at least we're trying. We're trying something new. We're getting out there. We're being a bit experimental. Or experimental, sorry. There's kind of no reason why I decided to do this. So I saw it out there for years. It's just saw my favourite ASMR is doing this, and I thought, hey man, come on. Gotta try this. 100% try it. And even if this is the only time I do this, I've been so far content and satisfied with myself for it. I think that's what's important, really. That at the end of it, I'm walking away from it going, yeah, you, you gave it some, you've really attempted it, and you should be proud of yourself for that. And that's something else, I think, is my fair affirmation. Just be proud of yourself, whatever you do. Whatever task it is that you may do. And this ties into the belief side of things. You might believe in yourself, and you might have to find that belief to get the task done, but after you've completed it, and you have actually reached that target, be proud of yourself. Give yourself some credit, pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. Honestly, it's baby steps. For some of these things, like getting out of bed each morning, or doing that deadline I said, or getting that promotion at work and doing one up on Joe. Honestly, it's all the same. Give yourself some credit, pat yourself on the back. You've done an exquisite job. You should revel in it. And really, that's what you're talking about. Like, affirmations are for just to just to say, hey, you are worth something. You, you do matter. You aren't a nobody. You are somebody. It, it does sound like a song. Really, it does. And I, I should know because I'm very much into my music and I do love sound. Hence, <laughs> this stuff happening. But. Yeah, I really, I really did enjoy doing this. It's been 20 minutes recording time, almost. It's gone quite quick for me, it really has. I'm not even just saying that. I'm going to close it off now by saying thanks for listening to me, or watching me. If you've watched this far and you haven't fallen asleep, maybe because I've not completed my ta um, set target, or I'm generally not that good at deceiving you to sleep, then Either I apologise or I say, hey, I hope you enjoyed. But yeah, good night. And thank you for watching. Why
whatever time of the day it is that you're watching, you can watch this during the day. Uh, but yeah, see you around.